Texas. The, in the melee, one of the Chicago monsters was hit with some friendly fire in the aftermath of attempting to find a doctor. Uh, they were all apprehended over the next uh, few days. The Newton brothers returned most of the $3 million for lenient sentences, and the postal worker got uh, 25 years. That $3 million is worth about $180 million today. I don't just tell you that because it's a fascinating story, especially if you look into the details. Uh, the, the last brother actually testified that he was too drunk to remember where he had buried his, uh, his portion of the loot, but it was actually the very strong at the time. But I tell you that because of the analogies to today. So today, most of our most valuable assets flow on the modern day rail network that we call the internet. Uh, all of our digital hackers, digital crooks, digital bandits, they lurk everywhere. They can attack over and over again. They're harder to root out. They're more difficult to find. And most businesses are completely unprepared for the risk. They have no remediation. They have no skills. They don't understand what the risk is. And a lot of underwriters are underwriting with very little data. It's a very real problem. If you include DDoS, botnets, phishing, ransomware, social engineering, employee bad actors, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, two out of every three small to mid-sized businesses was, had a cyber attack in 2018. Two out of every three. Yet 63% don't believe they have the skills to combat the problem. 83% don't believe that they have Every budget. <laughs> and quite frankly, they're all right. They don't have the skills, and they don't have the budget, and they don't understand the risk. So we have an increasing level of cyber attacks. We have a majority of businesses who don't have insurance for it and don't believe they can deal with the problem if it happens, if they still don't understand what the risks really are. This white space right here is, so this represents the percentage of uptake of businesses that are purchasing cyber today. So on average, it's about, it's about 20%. My guess is this room knows that as much as well as anyone. This, all this white space right here is really greenfield opportunity specifically for uh, insurance agents and brokers. I believe insurance agents and brokers are on the front line of defense for this ever increasing risk and have the opportunity to add another quiver in the risk management portfolio that makes them a trusted advisor in the first place. So, if we look at the increase in cyber attacks, if we look at the fact that most folks are completely underinsured, if we look at the fact that a lot of the data is not really being used to underwrite the risks, we have a lot of opportunity. And it's why a lot of people think that the potential for the market to grow substantially is out there. And even if the numbers don't reach these, uh, these estimates, and some estimates are higher, it's still very significant. It's the most evolving and emerging threat and opportunity uh, in, in our industry. So welcome to Cobblesack. So all of these things that we just talked about, we define as insurability gaps. So there's insurability gaps in underwriting. There's insurability gaps in coverage. There's insurability gaps in knowledge. And there's insurability gaps from what customers think they need to what they really do need to what they actually end up purchasing. Calvo would like to solve that problem, and we like to solve it with agents and brokers. We also have this interesting conundrum going on where you have insurance carriers with expense ratios that are too high, and so they're ever attacking those expense ratios to go low. The typical scenario is they go after their distribution networks and attempt to put more underwriting work on the agents and brokers while at the same time keeping the commissions the same or reducing them. The big problem with that is they're not delivering the information that is needed on why underwriting decisions are being made and pricing is being made. That's a huge gap of information asymmetry, and we'd like to close that gap as well. So what is Calvo? So Calvo is developing a patent-pending system that we call the Calvo Factor that is a standalone and comprehensive program with an improved claims experience, coverage tailored to risk exposures, aligned and continuously being under so exposures are continually, all the time, being addressed where they are. Gaps can be taken advantage of. Loss control can be a real thing. This leads to expedited binding and underwriting with very little information. How do we do this? What's our secret sauce? So we have, on, on our platform and on our artificial intelligence platform, we're bringing in millions of data points all around the world. 
public data points, outside in data points, regulatory data points, and also inside out data points. And as we put our, our algorithms on top of it, we're able to normalize those data points and bring those down to what makes sense from a customer standpoint. This leads into probabil probability and severity of more accuracy on the underwriting side and allows agents to have a real data-driven conversation with their customers rather than a presentation conversation. And that's very significant and very real because when you don't understand what the risks really are, it's hard to have a discussion about why we're offering it for a certain protection or a certain coverage. So again, if we go back to that information asymmetry, on the Cowbell platform, the policyholders, the brokers, the underwriters, all of them have the same in input into the transparency of the information, the Cowbell factors on a granular level leading to the aggregate risk exposures. So we're announcing tomorrow, uh, our company, you guys are getting a sneak peek, and this is a little sneak peek of our broker portal, customized for brokers to give everything that, uh, that an agent or a broker would need. And the neat things about this is there's information in here that most people haven't seen before of how they don't understand their risk. It shows how the combo factors align to specific coverages and exposures, where there's gaps in those exposures, and why those exposures need to be addressed. We also have the same platform for policyholders. One of the neat things here is policyholders can actually benchmark their cybersecurity versus their industry, versus their market, and brokers can actually do the same with their entire market. Again, what this leads to is a data-driven conversation so you can solve problems that customers really have. So there's a lot of opportunities here. There's more customer loyalty. There's more cross-sell. There's more revenue. But the important part is building a product that actually makes sense and a product with appropriate coverages for specific customers. Uh, we'll be at Group K40. We want to partner with agents and brokers as we build this product because uh, we believe that that's the way to uh, get to the risk management expertise that is out there today. And feel free to email me, call me, and uh, contact me. Thank you.